Okay, hello everyone. Happy Mother's Day from Terry and my mom and uh, Slime the Frog, <laughs> my my friend, and and of course Jesus Christ, the most important, um, yeah. the Lord and Savior. Huh, mom? Amen. Yep. And I know from my dad who passed away last year, but he's up there and, and glory, having a good time. And uh, just want to have prayer first, and we could bow our heads and close our eyes, please, and concentrate on God. So, Lord, we want to thank you for this day you bless us to have. Thank you for this Mother's Day, Lord. It shouldn't always be just uh, May, Lord, but I really believe every day, correct me if I'm wrong, that moms should, you know, get treated with love and respect and appreciation, you know, God, because you made them. They're special women, beautiful women. And I just use me, God, to your glory um, to honor them, God. But first, Lord, to honor you. In Jesus' name, let us all have a good time and Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mom. Thanks, everyone. If y'all could please turn to Exodus chapter 20. And I'm not going to be before you long. Exodus chapter 20 in the Old Testament of your Bible, verse 12. Just going to be speaking on that one verse. It says, Honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. See, it's simple, but, but it means a lot, huh? Mm -hmm. It's important. God wants us to honor our father and our mother. Show them respect, you know? Uh, obey their house rules. Even if you don't like it or you may not see it their way, but, you know, at least show them that you care and even if your mom or your dad talks about something that you don't want to hear, you know, still um, just have patience with them and ask the Lord to help you. Because I know during this generation, mom, there might be a lot of young folks that don't really want to listen to what their mom has to say they, or their dad. You know, they want to do their own thing. Mm -hmm. Not everyone, not everybody, because a lot of people do love their parents. But but there are always going to be, you know, those people out there who do the opposite, right? Mm -hmm. Still got to love them. Still got to forgive them. Okay. Okay, for example. Okay, God gave me a, a ministry of creativity for his glory. Mm -hmm. So let me act this out real quick. Okay, the mom tells her son and daughter, I want y'all to do your chores. The, the daughter's like, do we have to? The son's <laughs> like, but, but mama... Um, um, I already did my homework. <laughs> what else I got to do? See, it, it depends on your attitude. God, God don't care um, how you feel. He wants you to love, to honor your father and mother. <laughs> you know, don't talk back. Don't roll your eyes. You know, don't don't curse. <laughs> don't stop ah, and whine and complain. <laughs> right. Show love. You know, um, let your mom know that that you care about her because. If it wasn't for God and your mom, people, you wouldn't be born. You wouldn't even be here. That's right. Don't forget that. And thank God for your mom for not aborting you, you know, because she could have, but she didn't, you know. So mm -hmm. we, we have a lot to be grateful for. I just want to give that example. Amen. Amen. And oh, and a quick testimony. Mama, you know, you always been a mom to me. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. I thank God for you. And, and I thank God for my birth mom in Texas. Okay. And I thank God for, um, for my God sister. Her mom, Dolores, mm -hmm. who is Hispanic. And then I thank God for my Samoan mom, my friend James. He's my brother in Christ. And his mom been like a mom to me. Oh, right. So, you know, God wanted me, mom, to point that out. Oh, to, right. to show love to everyone who's been like a mom to me. Yeah. Who, who, who's treated me like a son. To, right. to give y'all my flowers. Oh, okay. And not be ashamed. And, and say, I, I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your wisdom and your... And your good food, <laughs> and telling me about Christ, and I'm being a good example, and, All right. and, and you know, and even if there were any times we might have trouble understanding each other or we had differences, mom, I still love you, <laughs> and I love my other moms, and uh, and thank, thank you. you, and I hope I done my best to to respect you. Yes, and, you um, have, Terry. Thank you, mama. Anything you want to say, mom? It is Mother's Day, but but I don't want to put the spotlight on you if if you're fine. <laughs> No, it's just that if their your parents are a blessing if they're especially um, adhering to God's word. Amen. Certainly, there are people who have not been introduced to the word of God, so maybe they grew up in in mm. circles where that wasn't 
a factor. That's right. But the Bible is a is the foundation. Amen. Of our existence because um, we were created by God. That's we were right. Created by God, so He certainly has the right to give us instructions as to how we are to communicate and to get along with our parents and to honor them. As the Bible says, honor thy father and thy mother. Amen. Mm -hmm. Beautiful mama. You go girl. Thank, thanks mama. Tell it like it is. I, right. I, I appreciate your, your words mama. Thank you. Oh, and also God wants me to tell everyone, even if you don't have a biological mom, because maybe she passed away, and maybe you were given to like an adopted mom, you know, a foster mom, or like in a group home, you know, you can still honor that that female, mm -hmm. that woman, right, mom? Amen. Even a person that mentors you, you know, and teaches you things, um, you can honor them. For example, mom, just a nice lady at, at my job, and God knows I'm telling the truth. She walks by sometimes, kind of like this, kind of hunched over, you mm -hmm. know, but the, um. Because I can tell she don't have much, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if she's homeless or or, or if she's just, um, you know, very poor. Mm -hmm. But God always touches my heart to be there for her. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if she needs um, a help with anything. Mm -hmm. you, you know, I, I and she's a white woman, but I, I, I still honor her. Yes. I just want to mention that. I'm, I'm not ashamed of her mom or, or anyone. Beautiful. And, beautiful, huh? Yes. And now I have a... I, I don't know, Mom, if I tell you or not, I have a Filipino friend named Everett that I met. Yeah. Uh-huh. And um, his, and Everett let me um, one time say hi to his mom mm -hmm. on video chat. So um, I, I wanted to honor her, too. Mm -hmm. Other words, it don't matter what color you are. You right. can be green like this guy, <laughs> polka dots, purple, red, whatever. I'm yeah. going to honor you. I, I love all moms, you know, yeah, all cultures. So I um, hope I didn't get carried away on the time. But um, just as appreciation to everyone out there and, and people. So remember, even if you have um, a mom that's that's not your blood, still show her love, you know? And um, and even if you done something or if she done something that made you kind of leave each other alone, you know, because of differences, forgive. Forgive each other. Right, mom? Yeah. Do it unto God. Say, Lord, you know, help me. I mean, I feel comfortable around this person. Maybe I don't like them or or blah, blah, blah. But help me, God, to, to show them love, you know. And, mm -hmm. and I still wish her the best. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you can still do it in a peaceful way. Yes. And before we close, happy Mother's Day to everyone. All right. And uh, don't forget, uh, Jesus Christ, he had a mom too, you know. So yes, Mary. Mary, that's right, Mama. The Virgin Mary. Yep. So I want to show honor to her too. Can't forget her. And uh, everyone. And um, y'all have a good day. And thank you for your time. Praise